What's unfortunate is that Air Raiders the Atari video game does not appear to have anything to do with Air Raiders the comic book. Let's take a look at Air Raiders number two. All the way from January of 1988, you could get Air Raiders number two for one dollar, buck twenty-five in Canada or 40p in the UK. Talk about inflation. And Air Raiders is a line of 1980s toys, as we discussed in Air Raiders number one, that never really seemed to catch on. It was not nearly as popular as G.I. Joe, Transformers, or He-Man, but let's get to issue number two here. The Thunder Hammer Strikes, and we have uh, some Air Raiders shooting things and things crashing through things and people falling off things after being kicked in the face by this guy and his foot, which is pretty awesome. And explosions. Here's General Cronax, and that's somewhat misleading because he's not actually in this comic book. That's false advertising. Air Raiders number two picks up where Air Raiders number one left off, sort of. Air Raiders number one really just set the story. But in this one, we have uh, a great opening page with all kinds of things exploding and blowing up. And if you like 1980s toys and comic books, you'll probably enjoy this one. The whole thing with Air Raiders is that they live on Airlandia, and they're always fighting for air, because the air is all controlled by Aerozar, and uh, Air Raiders ride the wind. And what they're doing here is invading an air refinery. Air Raiders 2 has the same penciler, Kelly Jones, and uh, he, or she actually, I'm not sure, I think did a better job in the first issue of Air Raiders. Some of the close-ups, especially of the uh, of the ladies here in the second one, aren't as, aren't as uh, good as they are in the first one. But overall, the artwork's very solid. We're up, we open up here with the, the invasion of the air refinery, and there's this chick here. Her name is Elita. Eleta. Eel Eta. I don't know how to pronounce that either. Hey, we have an advertisement with Pele wearing a Tang shirt. That's an awesome shirt. Look at those shorts. Pele rules. Check that out. All right, so we got some fighting going on here. Explosions, and Elita gets captured by the bad guys. Now, as the story unfolds, one of the younger air raiders, Jad, is uh, wants, wants to save Elita, but the, but the leader of the Air Raiders, Rock, won't let Jed, and uh, we wonder what's up, because we think Rock is an unfeeling, cold-hearted bastard for letting Elita be captured, but, but we find out later that there's maybe a different plan. So there's a lot of fighting and shooting. Pretty exciting comic book overall. I mean, it's not like uh, this thing really had a chance to catch on, because it's nowhere near as cool as G.I. Joe, but you know, they get an A for effort. Here we have the interior of the palace, or castle, where Aerozar, who's that bad guy, that's where he lives. And there's a little bit of a plot here going on with Aerozar's daughter, and Elita is looking, uh, was, they seem to have a back history when they, they haven't really fully explained that here. So yada yada yada, she ends up uh, trying to find her way through the castle and get down into the uh, jail cell. Oh, and check this out, we have a two-page spread of Konami advertising for Nintendo Entertainment System games. Being that CGR Comics is an extension of the classic Game Room video game series, I think we should take a look at this. And there we have one of my favorites, Gradius. Insert Konami video games into the Nintendo Entertainment System and play your heart out. And with games like Russian Attack, that was easy to do. Man, if that doesn't date this comic, I don't know what does. Alright, moving on. So, uh, now we have the Air Raiders. There's a little bit of a plot discussion going on there. And Alita's up to something. She ends up uh, seducing some guards and then, uh, like, making them go to sleep with sleeping spray or something. And there's some other characters they're trying to introduce here. She ends up finding her uncle, who's trapped in the prison. So remember I said in the first issue, Air Raiders is a combination of like Robin Hood meets uh, some sort of science fiction Buck Rogers adventure. So it's an interesting mix of like this Middle Ages concept in the future. And uh, she ends up taking out a bunch of guards because she's of course one of the Air Raiders and that makes her um, a badass, I guess. And the Air Raiders themselves try to save Elita and uh, nice Robotech advertisement there. And the comic ends on a couple advertisements. But right before the ads, we get a cliffhanger. Next, the good fight when Elita is 
apparently captured by a fat guy holding a gun at her head. And there you have it, Air Raiders number two from Marvel Comics. This is probably not much of a collector's item today as I don't think the market for Air Raiders uh, is very hot at the moment. So it's an entertaining read and you can probably pick this one up for a couple cents or a dollar somewhere and uh, follow the adventures of Elita, Rock, Jed, and Aerozar in Air Raiders. I don't have number three, now I've got to run out and get it so I know what happens. <laughs>